I'd like to show you how to connect a USB microphone to OBS. So the first thing you're going to want to do uh, with your microphone is plug it in using the USB cable that comes with it. Um, I'll be using the blue snowball microphone. I'll include the link in the description. It's under $100 and I think that it works really well. I I've never had any serious issues with it. It just works for me and my MacBook Pro. So this is the USB cable that comes with it. So on the back, you'll see where it plugs. So we're gonna plug it in. And once you plug it into your computer, to a USB port, you should see the red light turn on. If you don't see that red light on, it means that there's no power going to the microphone. So you'll have to check out your cable or your USB port. You might try a different USB port, might try a different USB cable. Um, and if none of that works, then there is something up with the microphone itself. So now that you have your microphone plugged in, the next thing to do is to bring that input in to your computer and then to OBS. So to make sure we're actually getting signal, we're going to click on the sound preferences up at the top here. And you'll see there are several devices for your sound input. You're gonna look for your USB microphone. You see I have two microphones here um, one is for my webcam that's plugged in, and one is for the blue snowball. Um, and then you want to adjust your input volume using this slider so that you can see your signal bouncing around, uh, but not clipping, which would mean that the signal would be all the way at the top here. Um, so this looks like a pretty good volume level to me. I like keeping it between the halfway point and the 70% point personally at this stage. Um, and your output volume, this is going to determine how much of this output goes to OBS. All right, so that is also going to be the output of your computer itself. So I'm going to leave that alone and close. Now that we're in OBS, we're going to add a new source. So down here in sources, press the plus audio input capture and I'm going to give this a name from the drop down list select your USB microphone in my case the blue snowball hit OK and now you should see in the audio mixer a new uh, blue snowball input now if you want to hear what you sound like in that microphone so you can hear how good the audio quality will be if you're doing a recording within OBS, then you'll want headphones. So we're going to use headphones, put those on, or else you'll get feedback. It's going to be really loud and uh, we don't want to explode anyone's ears. So put on some headphones. Click the gear, and under USB Blue Snowball, monitor and output. I'm going to turn the monitor off on my lav mic that I had already plugged in so that I don't hear two voices at the same time. I only want one microphone to be outputting right now. Now, if this was my desktop audio that I was bringing in, I might choose to output in both of those audio devices because they wouldn't be fighting. And so I'll do that in other videos where I'm doing karaoke setups, like karaoke live stream setups and that type of thing, or anytime you're sharing your desktop audio. Uh, but for this video, we're just talking about uh, the USB microphone getting plugged in. Um, and so you can see that it's bouncing around and you can hear yourself in the headphones. So you can always adjust your volume right here from within the audio mixer in OBS to mix your multiple audio inputs together. You can also mute right from within OBS. And there you have it.
can start recording or start streaming with your new USB microphone. I hope this helped.